Welcome! In this video, we will cover how to retrofit a 1700 or 2700 analog integral mount transmitter with a 4700 configurable I.O. transmitter and adapter. For a complete set of instructions, please refer to the installation guide, which can be found at emerson.com. Hi, my name is Brett Seibel and I'm a product manager at Emerson. In the next few minutes, I will give an overview on how to retrofit your 1700 or 2700 integral mount transmitter with a 4700 integral mount transmitter and why this is such a good option for legacy electronics. For the purpose of this activity, we will need four tools, a four millimeter Allen wrench, a 2.5 millimeter hex driver, a slotted screwdriver, and a number one Phillips screwdriver. First, we will remove the 1700 or 2700 transmitter. Using a four millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the four screws connecting the transmitter to the sensor. Rotate the transmitter mounting bracket anti-clockwise and lift upwards. Disconnect the wires connecting the transmitter to the core processor by using a screwdriver. Next, we will remove the 700 standard core processor. First, loosen the center core processor with a 2.5 millimeter hex driver. After, lift the core processor up. Please note not to twist the 700 core processor when removing it from the sensor mount because it can damage the feed-through pins. After removing the 700 standard core processor, we will be attaching the adapter cable into the existing feed-through. Insert the adapter into the sensor connector. Using the slotted screwdriver, tighten the screw of the adapter into the sensor. Finally, we will connect the 4700 transmitter. Connect the adapter from the feed-through to the bottom of the 4700 transmitter. This concludes the how-to video on how to retrofit a 1700 or 2700 analog integral mount transmitter with a 4700 configurable I.O. transmitter and adapter. To find out more information on the 4700 and adapter, please visit emerson.com.